Oscar Wilde, the man with the green carnation. Oscar Wilde, the brilliantly successful playwright whose wicked, witty quips are still today's most popular epigrams. Mr. Wilde, may I present you with this, sir? Charming. Every time I smell them, I shall think of you, Lord Queen. <laughs> Not so long ago, he created the most outrageous scandal of the century. Not so long ago, it was a name you had to whisper. I still have one thing. These stories I hear about you. There isn't any truth in them, is there? Even today, Oscar Wilde makes news in the top news dailies. Even today, the life story of this controversial figure and his trials at the Old Bailey still provide angry, passionate argument. Well, Lord Queensbury, it's all right, Arthur, you can go. It seems the peerage don't have a monopoly of good manners. If I catch you two again together, I shall take a whip to you, sir, and I shall thrash you to the ground. You're leaving now. Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> You, I didn't believe it was possible to love anybody more than I loved you. I still love you, darling. Help me, Constance. Help me. Also starring John Fraser as Lord Alfred Douglas, better known as Bosey. The importance of being honest. The importance of friendship. The extravagant, spoiled son of a great eccentric. How I ever came to think you were so marvellous. Bertie, for God's sake, go away! I'd love society and look at you snivelling like some kicked dog. You are not going to throw me aside just because you've no further use for me. You're not my father! Lionel Jeffries as Wilde's greatest enemy, the Marquis of Queensbury. Damn your insolence! Please! I'm going back to London this afternoon and I warn you, if ever you try and interfere in my private affairs again, I'll buy myself a pistol and I'll hunt you down and kill you. And guest stars James Mason as prosecuting counsel Edward Carson. Nigel Patrick, defending counsel Sir Edward Clark, two of the greatest lawyers of their time, in one of the most famous criminal libel cases of all time. Silver cigarette case for Mr. Taylor. A gold-topped walking stick for Mr. Parker. A book for Mr. Wood inscribed to Alfred from Oscar. If I may say so, my lord, my learned friend has no right to make suggestions of certain behavior with a group of persons not represented in this court and whose evidence we have not heard. But you will hear it, Sir Edward. It's my intention to produce every one of the persons mentioned just now in this court tomorrow morning. On your own, a group of blackmailers and police suspects. Nevertheless, they will be here to deliver their testimony. Testimony that will prove my client's plea of justification beyond any possible shadow of doubt.